What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to build a simple screen recorder in python so let us get right into it now for this little project today we're going to have to install three external libraries and those are first of all numpy so pip3 install numpy or just pip install on windows uh, then we're also going to need opencv-python which is what we're going to use to write the actual video file and we're going to need pyauto gui which is what we're going to use to take the screenshots so those are the three libraries. I'm not going to install them now because I already have installed them. Uh, they're quite easy to install. I think PyAutoGUI has a bunch of different dependencies, so it might take some time, uh, but they work on Windows and on Linux. So we're going to open up a main file and here we're going to import these libraries. So we're going to say import CV2 for OpenCV. We're going to say import NumPy as NP and we're going to say import PyAutoGUI. Now we're also going to import time, which is a core Python module, so we don't need to install it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to write a script that actually takes screenshots of the whole screen repeatedly and writes those into a video file. And for this, we first need to um, specify a screen size. So we're going to say screen size like that. And it's going to be a tuple of 1920 and 1080. So basically HD, full HD. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to define a codec and we're going to define a video writer. And for this, we're going to just say 4cc is going to be cv2 dot video writer underscore 4cc. And we're going to pass as a string here, uh, star xvit like that. So this is defining the codec. I'm not a video guy too much. I mean, I, I make videos, but I'm not a video uh, technical guys, so I don't really know what this is doing, but this is the codec that we need for the video writer. And then we're going to say out equals cv2 dot video video writer. And we're going to specify a file name. So for example, output dot avi. And we're going to specify the codec that we just created. And the screen size, we're also going to pass the screen size. There you go. So this is the basic setup. And now we're going to get to the actual screen recording. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set an FPS amount. So we're going to say FPS, for example, equals 120. And uh, then I'm going to introduce a, a little variable that is going to help us with slowing down the video process. So we're going to say previous equals zero. And we're going to talk about that in a second. And now we're going to say while true, or you can also say while not done and so on. Uh, while true, we're going to calculate the time elapsed. So we're going to say time elapsed equals time dot time minus the previous time like that. And if or actually, let's first take the image. So we're going to say image equals pi auto GUI dot screenshot. And then we're going to say if the time elapsed is larger than 1.0, it's important that it's a float divided by the FPS that we have chosen, then we're going to write it into the video. Otherwise, we're not going to write it into the video. So time, the time will be updated, first of all, and then we're just going to say frame dot, or actually frame equals NP array of the actual image so that we have something that we can actually write using OpenCV. Um, then we're going to say frame equals, do we have a problem here? No, we don't have a problem here. Uh, frame equals CV2 dot convert color because as we know, for those of you who have watched my uh, computer vision videos, uh, when you use OpenCV, you're usually working with a BGR color scheme. So blue, uh, green, red. And what we wanna have is we wanna have RGB. So we need to convert that. We need to swap uh, blue and red. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we're converting the color scheme of the frame from uh, from BGR to RGB like that. And then we're just going to have CV2 dot weight key. And here again, we're going to have to pass a number that produces a high frame rate. For example, I don't know, 100 should be uh, a good value. And then we're just going to say CV2 dot destroy all windows and CV2 
or actually not cv2 out dot release like that. So this is the basic script. This is the full screen recorder script and we're now going to give it a run. Now, of course, as always, I forgot the most important line, which is the writing of the video, because we have the video writer here, we have all the data that has to be written, but we don't write it. So what we need to add here, obviously, is out dot write and then frame. So now we can go ahead and test this. All right. Now, one thing that is important for you, if you're running the Linux subsystem on Windows, like I'm doing, is that you cannot just run this script from the Linux subsystem, because you need to record the desktop, you need to record the screen. And by default, unless you modify your system in a crazy way, you're not going to be able to grab the screen area if you're running on a Linux subsystem. So for those of you who use a Linux subsystem on Windows, you will have to execute this from the uh, Windows command line. So we're just going to open up CMD. And we're going to navigate to the directory. And in this case is desktop programming Python neural nine. And here we just say Python main.py. Now we're not going to see anything, but we can move around this window here. For example, we can move around this window here. Um, yeah, we can open stuff, we can minimize stuff, we can play around with the desktop a little bit. And when we're done with everything, we can just press CTRL and C or control C uh, to keyboard interrupt. And then in the directory, we're going to see that we have this output.avi file and we can open this up. And you can see that it has recorded everything, but you can see it's super fast. So this is because we can tweak the values, we can tweak the FPS value, and we can also tweak uh, the, uh, the weight key value here. So depending on this value, and depending on this va uh, value, the video is going to be very fast, or it's going to be slower. So you can uh, increase the FPS, you can turn it down. So play around with these values. But this is how you basically record your screen in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.